Hi everyone, this is Carrie from DoubleClick. Today I want to do a quick haul video on some of the supplies that I scored at the CKC convention in uh, Mesa, Arizona for 2013. So really quick, I found a booth that had this big box that was labeled five for a dollar. So I picked up um, these items. So these were less than a quarter each. These are just uh, like really jumbo brads. So I picked up a few sets of these and uh, they only had two different colors, but I figured I could probably stain them or cover them or do something with them for as cheap as they were. Then I was able to get these uh, ribbon slide brads that you can slide the ribbon through. And then uh, these ribbons and all of these wooden accents. So for all of this stuff that was five for a dollar, I spent three dollars on all this great stuff. Um, so then, um, I picked up more rings because I did buy these last year. I never used them, but I can't find them. So I thought for $1.50, uh, I might as well just get another pack. And then over at the, um, the eyelet outlet, I found these really super cute mini button brads and these fun pine cones. And I had to get these. These are like eyeball brads and I thought they were just so adorable so I grabbed two of those and these really fun silver and gold keys because they were unique and they're pretty big so I thought I could probably stain them and use them on something and then these cute um, beehives and all of these were a dollar each they were in like their uh, big clearance bin and then I came across these really cute little wooden ladybugs and they had little super cute tiny ones and then little medium ones and leaves and it was only $1.50 so I thought this would be cute to stick on a flower or on a card. And then um, over at the Queen and Company which had a, a lot smaller booth this year than they did last year. I think it was about half the size that it was from last year. So me and my girlfriend um, decided just to split there, buy 10, get two free, so we each just picked six. And they did have a new color. They had the iridescent uh, gems, which have a really fun sparkle. And then I picked up a couple of the different color. I bought two of those ones. Um, just a couple of different color of the pearls, even though I bought them last year. And I don't think I used them, but I really like them. So I picked up some more of those. And then, of course, after I found those, I found another booth, and I don't remember the name of it. I think, oh, Want to Scrap, that was the name of it. They had all packages of these pearls in tons of different sizes and colors, and their packages were only 99 cents each. So I got one color of every color that they offered, but I had to pick through bins because some of the pearls had a weird color and then some of them were missing but um see like here's one that was missing but for a dollar and the colors that they had um, I thought it was a pretty good deal so I got a whole bunch of different colors of those and Basil was there but they also had way less stock than they usually do they usually have a couple of shelves of ribbon to choose from and this time they only had like two little boxes so I picked up um, just the colors that I liked. I think I bought these two last year, but I actually used them. So I decided to get two more. And then they had these cute um, purple and kind of like a aqua color in the other design. So I only got four of those. They were only a dollar and they are 15 yards each. So it was still a great deal. And I don't normally buy paper because I hoard it. So I've been trying not to, to buy paper and I've been really good over the last year. But these little um, pads from Three Bugs in a Rug were just too adorable, and I, I just had to get them. And they're six by sixes, so I am more likely to use these because the paper is a little bit thicker. But they're adorable. This is Ellie, and then this one is One Fine Day, and they just have like the cutest animals and the sweetest colors. And for two dollars, I mean, it was such a great deal. I really couldn't pass it up. But that's the only paper that I purchased from there. And I've been working on my Stickles collection. And I purchased, um, they had Stickles. It was by eight bottles for $15, which was like $1.88 each. Or 
it was like two dollars an individual bottle so I bought eight and now I think I only need nine more colors and I'll have every stickle color so I just went through and picked out some of my favorites and I did bring a list so I made sure that I got the ones that I actually needed and maybe next year I'll just go ahead and pick up the uh, the other ones that I didn't get and I thought it was a little expensive but when I went online uh, you know it was all the pricing was okay I would have liked to have gotten a better deal but um, a buck eighty eight each and I got the colors that I wanted um, they had a lot of these this year uh, a lot of the booths had these tons and tons of these little gems and blings and they were between 90 cents and a dollar and so many of the booths had them uh, this year but there's like this whole pack has 300 pieces in it but they're really really tiny I got the little flower ones and I got the hearts and then um, these are just the um, colored circles so for 90 cents I picked up three different packs for ones that I thought I would use on my projects and this also this I got at the eyelet outlet too I thought that they were tags but they're tags but I didn't realize that they all said tea party on them so I'm gonna have to find something different to do with these I might try an alcohol stain the backs of them because they are silver and it's just the one side that says tea party see if I can come up with something to get rid of that tea party and then there was a booth and I don't even remember the name of the booth but they had these um, tons of dyes all different brands and it was buy one get one 50% off and this jar die with the matching stamp it was March 1999 and I had my friend that was buying the same one so we only got them for um, $15 but when they rang up the lady said that it was an error and they were actually $29.99 each instead of $19.99 so she gave us the price anyway and we ended up getting this really fun jar die and stamp for only $15 and it's it's really adorable I'm not gonna lie I've already used it <laughs> and I love it so this was probably my funnest purchase and I knew it was because I took it out right away and used it and it's a really fun it was a great deal so I'm glad that I ended up getting that and my last purchase I found this at the Zyron booth they had a very small selection they actually had a chart of like four shaped um, spell binders and then like six of like the labels and they were um, five for twenty dollars so I did grab the heart shape and then this was the frames number six and really I think they're exactly I mean they're made by spellbinders but they have a different name but they're the exact same thing they emboss and they cut and they are the larger sized so um, I ended up getting these for only four dollars each I thought that was a really great price and I like these squares this one was a must-have and then this one so that's it that's my scrapping haul for 2013 um, I hope that this year I'm gonna use it thanks for watching and have a great day